Nice. Oh, do you want to see my t FTT trade? Let me show you what happened. All right. I'm going to screen share. That was a good question. <laughs> so everybody on here, don't trade FTT. It's no. Over, but... <laughs> don't, don't trade it at the moment, maybe. No, no. <laughs> All right. Here's my FTT trade. I got in on the 16th of January. So about there, about five o'clock in the afternoon. So this was just after the BTC EFT announcement, not long after that. So pretty much as soon as I got in, I used the TCC target indicators, the, the crypto code target indicators. Everything was that it was going up and it was doing really well. So obviously that news um, took precedence and pretty much as soon as I put it on, it started heading down <laughs> And it just went on and on. It just channeled and channeled and channeled. So I had to get back to $3.11 to break even. So I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. And it spiked up here Monday the 22nd, so just over a week ago, a week and a half ago. Um, but I missed it by about a cent because I actually had bought my take profit down because it's like there's no way it's going to get back to $3.11. Like we're nowhere near it. Like we're around $2.60. So I did bring it down, but not enough, um, and I missed this one. So it's going along, going along, and I'm just like, you've got to be kidding me. So, But before I, well, just as it was dropping here, I managed to take it from 2x leverage to 1x. So basically there was no leverage on it, which okay. lowered the liquidation price to less than zero, oh, like less than one cent. So there was no way unless it went to zero, um, which, of course, FTX could possibly do. Um, but I wasn't going to be liquidated. So I was okay. It was just a waiting game, basically. I just had to like sit there and just watch it go up and down, up and down, up and down, channeling along, channeling along. And this is what happened yesterday. <laughs> so I that red week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that all time, I hope you got out at that. Yeah, that I did. Awesome. I did. So awesome. finally, yeah, it's just like, so all this like no, no, nothing 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 and then this happens yesterday so we're like what the crap so, so just so at that is, moment Jody yeah. had picked up my phone because we were talking about what to do with this trade because it was still down probably about 120 130 dollars and I was just like because it was tying up my capital that was the mm -hmm. problem I wasn't going to do anything I wasn't going to lose money necessarily but it was just tying up a thousand dollars of my capital and I was like oh, crap like I just want to get out of this it's really give me the shit so I almost hit the sell at market price so many times in this period. <laughs> um, and then so Jody happened to pick up my phone yesterday and saw this happen exactly at just after 10 o'clock. So if we look at the three minute chart. Yeah. Yeah. It happened. I'll go back to this. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So exactly at three minutes past 10, this spiked up and then it headed straight down. So this is about a 35% drop. Awesome. But you had the order in, so you didn't. It, well, it was just luck that the I picked up the phone, and it had nothing to do with that. I didn't need to pick up the phone because um, no. the trade the trade stopped out anyway because Nat had it there ready to go. She knew well, she wasn't going to make a profit on it, oh, um, which is yeah. perfect. So, so this is the ultimate example on sell the news event. So that spike okay. up was based on speculators going, "Oh my gosh, FTX is back alive. They're going to start trading again." <laughs> <laughs> but the paragraph below in their press coverage or the press announcement was, yeah, the exchange isn't coming back up. So that's why it plunged up and then the down. Back down. Yeah. I have a different theory. I have a theory that maybe someone in FT, FTX knew the news because this was exactly at three minutes past 10. Oh, 100%. Yeah. So yeah. that they've spiked it up to then take a short on it and then write yeah. it all the way back down because this actually that's dropped right. down about 75%. So that is exactly about, um, yeah over the course of about 12 hours so it's like yeah yeah that might have been a little bit of insider trading <laughs> yeah that's the ultimate market manipulation now are, are they going to get fined for that no not at all <laughs> not at all what, no no they're gonna, they're gonna repay all their customers <laughs> yeah, yeah full amount too they could probably um, do that just based on the money they made on this shorting it all the way down yeah so I got out uh, with about a $25 loss. I was so stoked about that. I could have actually got out at 311, but I just didn't believe it was going to get back to there. So I actually would have 
taken I actually would have made some profit if I'd let I it don't, go. And not with <laughs> FTT, I'm not you know, it's not a yeah, uh, that's not a loss. That's a win in my book. You got oh, out. I was just getting out. I was yeah. so glad yesterday that I could just get out of this damn thing. If it hadn't spiked up like that, there was no way I would have got out. So I'd be down here at a dollar ninety-two mm -hmm. now. And it did drop down yeah. to like 140 or something. So I, I was like, oh yeah. my God, I was just like counting my lucky stars that this spiked up like it did. I don't care if somebody was trying to manipulate the market. I was more than happy to get out of the damn thing. So yeah, this was just a classic example of just sitting here watching this go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. I was just like crying out loud. Like yeah. I just want my capital back now. Like want to just keep trading and now I can't do it. So yeah. Yeah, just get out. But yeah, there's talk about news. So at 10 o'clock, they announced 10.03, this happened. I was like, well, there you go.